I would bet almost anybody that I can figure out the silver content of this base in three seconds or less. Hi, I'm Kendall, the author of Value Picking, the data back guide to inform buying silver. If you're new to silver, you look at this and say, well, why is that so hard to figure out? It's a silver vase. If you want to figure out the silver content, put it on a scale. But if you're not new to silver, you know the problem with this, and that is this is a weighted vase, which means that part of it is sterling silver. Part of it is concrete that has been wrapped up in a thin silver-like foil. That's the problem with buying vases and bowls and many other sterling silver antiques is that a large portion of them is not sterling silver, which makes it very difficult to assess the content. But what if I told you, like I said at the beginning, that I could assess it in three seconds or less? It's pretty simple. So I covered this technique as well as a few others in the book, including one that is much more accurate than this, but I think you're going to like how accurate this one is. So if we take this vase and put it on a scale, we get that it weighs 95 grams. So this whole vase, concrete, silver up here, silver foil, if there's any reinforcements in the bottom, all that, 95 grams. Okay, here's how you can figure out how much it weighs. This is pretty cool. I just balance it. Right? So what happens when you balance something? What does it mean? It, it means by definition that this weight equals this weight. Right? And so this vase is actually, since it's so long, we can put all the silver on one side of the pivot point. If we can do that, if we can put all the silver on a side of the pivot point, then we know that at least half the weight is silver. Right? This 45, no, 47 and a half grams is silver. And then we've got this little bit on top here, and that's the like three, four, five grams to play with. So it's probably gonna be around 50, 55 grams of silver in this entire vase, right? If my finger were further up, then, and it balanced, then we know there'd be a whole lot more silver, right? Because just this part would be half of the weight of the whole thing. Let's put it here. Just this part would be half the weight of the whole thing, and then all this would be more. Now this was way up here near the base, which means that we're really not going to have much more than 50% of the weight. Um, you know, like I said, if it were here, it would be 60 grams maybe. But here, here we are. Now there are some items like this that you can't balance, right? They're short and fat and they're balls. And that's what we have another technique that we cover in the book that tells you how to do it with items that aren't as easy as a long skinny vase. And then finally in the book, we also have a much more accurate way, even though this is pretty accurate. It takes about two minutes, you can do it at home, and the only thing it requires is a scale. Uh, and if you have that, you can actually, to the gram, figure out how much silver is in your vase. Anyway, so that's a little bit of what my book is about. It's about taking these objects that we see every single day and look at them in new and interesting ways so that we can learn more about them. And that's that's what I wanted to do. So I hope you enjoyed the book.